Uh, hello guys, good day to all of you. I'm here inside the cabin and checking the fault alarm that's showing in the dashboard. And the driver complained that uh, there are something wrong in the brakes. As you see, there are four fault code in regarding in ABS. So now we will check it in our uh, fault code book. So guys, I already written in the paper the full code that we found in this truck. So first, 04319. 04319. Wheel 2 in conjunction with EB is logic. Wheel speed error. Wheel speed error. Mm -hmm. Next is 04. 04388 and 04389 here pressure module pressure control on wheel 1 implausible pressure differential right left and then the 04389 pressure module pressure control on wheel 2 implausible pressure differential right left almost the same and the last one is the 04412 04412 Pressure module Pressure control on wheel 1 Implausible exhaust valve actuation Almost I did not understand What is the meaning of this one <laughs> So but we will try We will check The valve pressure control module Because uh, mentioned here Pressure control Pressure control pressure module so we will check the pressure module so guys now we will going to do is the is to disconnect the air hose connection from the pressure module going to brake chamber so we will turn this steering to have an access in the to have access to remove the air hose connection okay First, we need to re we will remove in the right side. And then the other side also. We also remove this other side. So I start burning Abihawa. Hey guys, here there is a leakage. Break you need, say break. Already kalas hawa. It's we raise up the cabin, so we have access to check properly. So guys, this is the problem. The air out here, even without applying brakes. The air continue out here. So this one going to the brake this tire is braking even without applying brakes because this one is taking you have to check in the other side here other side is no leaking no air out only the left side only this left side that's why in the fault alarm there is, they said there that uh, will speed error maybe because this tire is uh, braking sudden uh, automatically braking without uh, applying brakes 
so maybe that is the meaning so now we will we'll change this one this uh because in the fault alarm the pressure pressure module this is the pressure brake pressure module so we will change this one we will remove first the wire connection black gray and green wire connection guys we already removed the bulb I have here one old brake pressure module this one this is from uh, other truck also which is have leakage here here leakage here so we will try to use this one and uh, this is from 6139 leaking so just because we don't have an available new brake pressure module we only make remedy on it hopefully it works so guys we will combine the parts the leaking of this bulb is here while the other one is here so we will use this one the lower side of this one and the upper side of the other bulb see lower side of this one and the upper side of the other one now I will make a marking check marking meaning this is the good part of this bulb see good part of this bulb and I make X here in the damaged part so guys we will combine it and hopefully it works <laughs> we just make a remedy because we don't have an available new bulb see okay This is the damage part. Here is leaking. This is the leaking here. This is the problem. The seal. While this one also, the problem is here. So, but this one is hopefully this is good. We will install now. guys the air is almost full I will check there in the brake if it still have leaking or not yes successful I will set up the engine see guys there is no leaking now before leaking now our work is successful okay that's it we'll save money also <laughs> because we'll combine the good part of the boat to to break module now I push the brake pedal and we will see Nice one, very nice.
Very good. Okay, we will fix it now. So guys, we already solved the issue about the pressure module, the leakage here, the suddenly brake without applying brakes. But uh, if you see in my video content that I cannot making video about the brakes issue because even uh, you solve the problem, but the fault alarm is still there. So we will still need to delete in the computer that's why I did not make a video about it so if you have a break issue it's better to use a computer scanner to solve the problem completely see like this we already solved the issue in the brake module but the fault alarm is still here look see guys the fault alarm is still here even if we solve the issue in the brake module so we still need to bring it to the to bring it outside and scan with the computer and delete the fault code actually guys I'm not really satisfied to share this video with you but I need to share it thank you for watching bye bye